going down, down, down to the river And there ain't nobody gonna have to hold my hand I'm a going down, down, down to the river Gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sand You said goodbye to me this morning I'm a going down, down, down to the river And there ain't nobody gonna have to hold my hand I'm a going down, down, down to the river Gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sand Going down, down, down to the river And there ain't nobody gonna have to hold my hand I'm a-going down, down, down to the river Gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sand Very sad. Going down, down, down to the river Gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sand I'm gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sand Miss Rose Maddox with John Jorgensen of the Desert Rose Band. Rosie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Hello, John. How are you? Hey, Rose, I want you to sit here. I've got a thousand things I'd like to ask you, but I'll have to confine it to one or two. Last year, Rose had open heart surgery out in a hospital in Bakersfield, and a lot of people, I think, thought that you were going to pass from this earth. Well, including myself. <laughs> you know, you have made a remarkable comeback. Yes, I have, and I'm thankful for it. <laughs> How is, so bring me up to date. How is your health? Well, I'm, I'm still living, so everything's all right. <laughs> uh, are, you, are, you, are you performing on any kind of regular basis? Uh, not as of right now. Uh, it's been a year, a year today that uh, since uh, this happened to me, and uh, I am just now getting back uh, well enough to do anything at all, but I hope to be performing regularly. Amy Lou mentioned that to me backstage that, that you performed for a while in a wheelchair. No, I, w I, I didn't. Is, no, <laughs> your benefit, the benefit for you. I, there was a benefit given for me, and I was in a wheelchair. Thank God I'm not now. Yeah, may I, I want to ask you a, a, a question. It's a, a, First of all, how many brothers did you sing with? Four. Okay, what were their names? Uh, Fred, Cal, Don, and Henry. Now, who's living? Fred and Don. Okay. Are they, are they retired? Uh, Fred is retired. Don's got a big cattle ranch in Oregon. I want to ask you about something I heard about your act one time, because I never really knew you that well. Did, you, did, did all of you have a cattle act? Yeah. And, and travel down the road? Including Mama, and she couldn't drive. Okay. Let's put the, 
All right, the story is about Mama buying the Cadillacs. Did she buy them all for you? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the story I heard was she went into a Cadillac dealership. Do you know the story I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Would you tell it? <laughs> yeah, she went into this Cadillac dealer. She had her overalls on. And uh, the salesman all seen her coming, and there was a new salesman in there that didn't know anything about anything. So none of the salesmen wanted to wait on her, so... She, because she didn't look like she, she didn't look like she had any money. So we went in there, and uh, they sent this new salesman over there, and she asked him a question or two. She says, I'll take five of them. <laughs> <laughs> and reached in her pocket and pulled out the money and paid cash for them. <laughs> And, and, and the other salesman just about died. And the new, and the new salesman got, got the commission. Yes, he did. Well, I've, yeah. I've always heard that. Uh -huh. But a lot, of, a lot of stories that are handed down, you're never sure whether they're true, but that's a true uh, the, story. They, they usually change when they're handed down. Uh, Rose, I want to I interrupt our conversation and bring Marty Stewart out. Many of you know Marty. Marty, come out if you will, please. I'm Marty. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good to be here. Uh, John, I'll tell you what, it might help if you... Marty, why don't you put your mic down. All right. And let John hold a mic for you. I want you to just <laughs> to explain... You can do this, kid. Yes. I want you to explain what you have and uh, what's going to happen. Well, to this it. was a very special week, as you know, for us. We have Rose in town and doing this show. And the, the Country Music Foundation sent this down. This was a donation that Rose did. One of her costumes from 1949, Turk made, and all the girl singers these days probably would love to wear this. Oh, yes. oh is that beautiful? beautiful? I think it'd look good on Mike Snyder too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just—they were the great, the first band in show business to ever wear. This is one of the old costumes, and uh, they were the first band in show business to ever wear these costumes, along with five Cadillacs. They came into town looking like. Are you? Uh, <laughs> they were a great. They were called the most colorful hillbilly band. And this is from the foundation. Yes. Did uh, Nudie make these? No, Turk did. So this was sort of Nathan pre, Turk. pre Nudie, wasn't it? Yes, yes. yes uh huh. And how, Nudie learned from Turk. Uh, how long has the uh, Hall of Fame had this? Uh, since since 82. 82, I think. Yeah. Okay, I have a lot of other stuff I want to talk about, <laughs> but I have to take a break. Rose, it's good to see you. It's good to be here. Thank you, Ralph. We'll be uh, right back to Nashville now after this.